Hi, and welcome to another episode of Rockasoft tutorial series. My name is Stacy Thatcher, and today I'm going to talk to you about camera automation available in our Rockasoft PTZ camera controller software. So PTZ Joy PTZ camera controller actually has a lot of different camera automation tools that helps camera operators simplify um, their workflow saves you time and it also um, eliminates error. But today's tool that I'm going to show you is our camera tracer. So the camera tracer is a tool that records your PTZ camera's um, movements and then saves them and then lets you play them back um, whenever you need. So let me just show you what it looks like. You can see here is the camera tracer on my screen. Behind me of course is my little demo setup of cars and then here you can see my two camera views um, pointing at the cars. So what I've done is I've actually already set up some um, camera traces that I want to show you and um, let's just do this trace four. So you're going to see that it's going to, once you double click it, it's going to get your camera ready um, at a starting point of your choosing. And then once it says ready, all you have to do to replay the trace is press play. And then you're going to see that it's going to play back what I had recorded earlier. Um, I recorded my cameras to move right, to pan right a little bit, and zoom out simultaneously. So that was my recording. Let's do another one here. But now it's my camera one, and see it sets it up, and then when it's ready here, when it says ready, you just press play, and then it's going to start playing back my recording from earlier. So a really great tool to help you automate your um, camera's movements. And so it's super easy to set up. Let me just kind of go through and um, show you a little bit about the interface. Here is where you set up your camera. You can go ahead and press whatever camera you want to trace. So let's go ahead and do, you know, camera, let's do camera two. And here is where you select your starting point. So you select it at a preset. Um, let's go ahead and do preset three and it'll get it ready and all you have to do to start your trace here is start record and then I'm going to go ahead and go ahead and record whatever action I want. Let's just stop there and then you say stop recording and you have your trace. So to do that you just save your trace and it's going to ask me to save it. And then to replay my trace, this is trace seven, let's go ahead and replay it here. Is that the right one? Oh, wait a minute. That was my camera two trace seven. Here we go. Camera two. And then once it's ready here, you just press play and it's going to play back the movement that we had just recorded. There we go. Okay. So a couple of other things about the camera tracers. You can also set this, your camera trace recordings to loop. Um, so that just means play back um, one after the other. Um, you can also get it to, where when you are ready to record, you can also set it here to, to start recording on the actual move of your joystick. Um, you can also, um, as you saw earlier, overwrite traces that you've previously made. You can delete them, you can edit them. Um, they are saved as a file, um, and so you can actually go in here and manually edit them if you would like. Um, and then another thing too is you can come up here and you can minimize this window too. So a really great tool to help camera operators out there um, automate their process.